Hey everyone, in this video, let's talk about how you can use lip sync in HeyGen. In order to do so, here we are at HeyGen.com and we're all logged in. And what we can do is go ahead and click on the option here that says create video. We have a lot of different options that we can kind of take a look at here, but uh, we'll just kind of get straight into it. And the easiest way of doing that is just to click here where it says create video. And then it's going to ask you whether or not you want to create a video using a lifelike avatar that reads your script with a natural voice, or you can even translate videos with lip sync while retaining the speaker's original voice. Let's go ahead and select avatar video. And then from here, we can select a few parameters, but uh, what I want to focus on is the generate script with AI. You can use a template or you can upload a PDF or PowerPoint as well, but let's go ahead and click generate script with AI. And here you can do a couple things. You can either write in the topic and give in the information that you want. So you could just be as detailed as you want with this. If you have a specific platform that you want to create a video for, then you could spend some time dialing that in as much as possible. The, clo the more you detail you add, the better the results are going to be. Or you can use the EURL here. And so what we can do is we can head over here to Skillcraft and we can copy our link, head back here, pop that in. And then under additional info, it's not a bad idea to specify exactly what it is that you're looking for. I could tell you from experience that uh, generating the script uh, did come up with some inconsistent results. So it's really important to just add as much detail as you possibly can. So in our case, we might wanna say a video for a YouTube channel that talks about AI tools, something like that. Then we can go ahead and click generate script. Now, HeyGen is going to generate our script for us. And you can see there that we have different scenes and we could take a look here to see how close it is to what it is that we want. Some of the information might be inaccurate. So you are gonna to want to uh, take a close look and make sure that everything is accurate before you proceed. Now you are gonna proceed from here. You can regenerate if you want, or you can even click edit prompt to go back a page and edit the information. Let's go ahead and click create video. That's gonna bring us to this page here. And if we see here, we have our editor, we have our script down here. We have our avatar in play. And we also have a variety of other avatars here that we can play around with as well. So we could choose whatever we think might be appropriate for our video. I'll go ahead and pick this one here. And then we could see here that we have a variety of different looks that we can use as well. So that's really nice for keeping things dynamic. We don't uh, necessarily need to have the avatar in one specific look. We can use multiple looks if we want. Um, so let's go ahead and select that. But one thing you are going to see is that this is going to change it section by section. And um, so that's something that we are going to want to make sure that we change because we can use different avatars in the same script. So that's kind of nice as well. But if you want to use the same avatar, then you are going to need to click on each individual section and just select the avatar that we want to use. Now, another thing is, is um, let's go to the script here. So this is where we can edit our script. So you can go through here and really take a close look and make sure that everything is exactly the way that it's supposed to be. You might want to delete something if it's not there. Also, if you are on the free version, then you are limited to under three minutes. So if your script is too long and you're using the free version, then you're uh, it's going to say no to that. Um, it does provide some free credits. So you can definitely come to HeyGen and play around with it. And uh, there are pretty uh, generous with the credits there. So you should be able to get a few videos out of it. One of the things to point out is, let's say if we wanted to take, let's say this entire section is just not going to work out uh, or it's too long and we just want to cut things down, then we can actually click on these three little dots here and then we can find here where it says delete script. We have a variety of other options we can play around with too, but let's just go ahead and delete that. And when we do, then you're going to see that now we have this empty section at the end. And so we are going to want to get rid of that. 
Otherwise, that's just going to be some dead air at the end. Another thing, too, that I found out is we are going to want to modify the timing as well. So you can see that the script here doesn't quite line up. So you're going to want to just edit the timing a little bit and make sure that everything is dialed in exactly where it needs to be so that there is consistency. Now, if you're using the same avatar throughout, then it's probably not a big deal. Um, but if you are doing, uh, if you have different looks for it, for each scene, then you are going to want to make sure that your timing is on. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit janky. I'll show you an example of that here in a little bit. But that will give you, uh, that basically is uh, how you line everything up. And then once you are ready to go, then you can just click on submit here up at the top. So let's go ahead and do that. And then from here, we can enter in some additional information, change some of these parameters if we want, put, change the file name, and then click on submit. And that's going to start working for us. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example here that I've already created. And uh, this one um, didn't turn out exactly the way that I wanted, but it's fine. We're just going to take a look here so that you could see for yourself what the results are like. Welcome to our channel where we delve into the fascinating world of artificial intelligence tools. Today, we are excited to introduce you to an innovative tool that is transforming the way we create and manage tasks. AI is not just a buzzword. It's a powerful technology that enhances productivity, creativity, and efficiency in everyday tasks. So let's explore one of the latest advancements in AI that could change how you work and play. As we look to the future, the potential for AI tools is limitless. As artificial intelligence continues to evolve, we can expect even more advanced features that cater to specific industries and job functions. The integration of AI into our daily tasks is not just a trend. It's a shift towards smarter, more efficient ways of working. We encourage you to explore Skillcraft AI and see how it can boost your productivity, whether in personal projects or professional endeavors. Thank you for tuning in to our channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates on the latest AI tools that can enhance your workflow and life. Stay curious and let's embark on this exciting journey into the future of technology together. So there you go. That gives you an idea of what the results are with HeyGen and how you can create a lip sync video for your own platform or product. You could see there some of the inconsistency. Uh, I didn't time it right exactly in certain places and uh, some of the transitions are a little bit wonky. Also, the script is uh, a little bit inconsistent as well, but it's fine. It's just to give you an idea of how HeyGen works and how you can use it for your own product or platform. And that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe for more helpful tips.